everyone. I am back with um, a journal share here for you. This is a custom order uh, and she wanted a ballet themed traveler's notebook insert. So this is a standard size traveler's notebook uh, and she had requested ballet shoes for the front and she specifically asked for um, this paper for the cover and she also wanted a closure that was able to be wrapped around a couple of times but secured so that she wouldn't lose it. So what I have done is just um, attach the closure underneath the front image here. And you can see that I've added um, some doilies uh, on the very bottom layer, a little bit of vintage uh, French paper here, um, you can just barely see some of the sheer fabric and then some of these really pretty book corners from Butterbee Scraps uh, I've added to the cover image. So let me take you inside. Um, she also asked for lots of lace. She really wanted a lot of pink, so you will see that throughout. So I have just added some um, pattern paper, some music paper. I've added lots of different tabs here with buttons and various laces and seam binding. Um, this pink um, uh, tracing paper and then I've added trim to the side. I've added one of um, Denise's large bags from her store. Her store is a tattered dream on Etsy and I will link that below. And I've just added a little bit of sheer lace here and one of my favorite ballet images here. And then all of the images have um, lines or plain paper on the back so that um, they can be journaled on. Um, and my, my client um, said that she's going to use this for daily planning so I've tried to leave lots of space for her. Um, although it's it's decorated quite heavily, um, there is lots of space for her to actually use it functionally. And just a tab down here with a couple of different trims. I've done my usual stamping. And this is one of the long envelopes that I use. So this can be opened. Um, lots of space to add things. And then this front pocket. I've just got one of Denise's layaway tags and I've added um, just a stamp tag here and a little bit of trim and that's one of Denise's garment pins there just holding that all together and then just a little bit of stamping there at the top and this is just a sheer uh, vellum pocket um, now I printed this image, let me move those, I printed this image on vellum um, and I've just cut it out and added a little bit of trim here, a little tab and then I've just got some ballet images here and these are all set up for her to journal on. This was a lot of fun to make. Um, I've got just lots of trims here on this bag and then on the side here. And then this is the um, ballet positions I've added. And that's another journaling spot. My favorite vintage um, pink ledger paper here. And I've left that so that she can use that full page. And then just a bag here. It was It's a longer bag, about that long, and I've just folded the bottom up so that there's um, a little pocket here, and I've added, this looks like a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a tutu here, and, I, and I've added um, some flat back pearls, and those are from Denise's shop as well. And just a couple of little images here. And one of my French tags and another really pretty vintage um, image. And then more printable paper here. Uh, and this was, um, again, something that I printed onto vellum paper. I just thought that added a bit of interest and she can write on it or she can add an image there. And really pretty ballet image 
and I've just added some paper to the back and again that can be journaled on. Little bow at the top I thought was pretty. And more vintage ledger paper and I've left it completely plain so that she can add whatever she'd like there. And this is more of that um, tracing paper, pink tracing paper I've used as a tab and just added a little bit of this trim. And a little lace pocket, a little tag, and another image here. And this is a little um, glassine envelope that I've coffee dyed and I've added some cheesecloth and um, some trim there. And then this is one of my favorite little images. And that just clips here and bag here. Really pretty image here. And I've got, I don't know if you can see it, but I've layered some tool underneath um, that, that image. Another tab here and just a large tag that I've made for extra space. And this flips out and this bag a tag in it and this is actually uh, a glassine bag and over it I have adhered this image um, I've cut out the background to it so that it's sheer right on top of the bag and then I've just added this tag with some music um, on it and notes stamped on the back. I just really like the way that that music paper looked um, behind the ballet shoes. And this is the other side of the bag um, from Denise's shop and I've added some lace trim and that really I think that's a beautiful image. And then this one as well. And I've uh, attached another uh, envelope here, and these are these are the payroll envelopes from Denise's shop. You can purchase those at her shop. I just coffee dyed it. I've added some really pretty lace here to make a pocket outside, and then I've added just a label. Um, she can add that anywhere in her book if she'd like. And a little journaling spot and that really pretty rose image and then one of my favorite ballet images and I've just backed that with some of the pink uh, tracing paper as well and that really pretty trim so that's the music paper uh, and it's quite large it's very vintage this was actually from a book from uh, it was from 1915 actually um, that I've just cut apart um, and lots of space here um, to add pictures or so on. And then that's the back. So that is my latest journal. I have one more um, custom book to do for this same customer so you'll see that coming up in a little bit. And then I have a couple of other projects on the go so I will be back soon with more journals to share. Thanks.